up, everybody? This is All Things Beer 510. And tonight, we're bringing you a review from Wanaki, Wisconsin. This is Untitled Art in collaboration with Angry Chair Brewing from Tampa, Florida. This is, I don't even think this has a name. This is called just Chocolate, Vanilla, Maple, Imperial Stout. <laughs> so, it, it is a 12%... Imperial Stout brewed with uh, chocolate, vanilla, and maple. Um, super excited about this. Uh, the next few Mondays, I'll be reviewing a beer from, you know, Wisconsin. Uh, one of my guys from the Midwest shot me some beer from Untitled uh, Untitled Art, um, Eagle, Eagle, Eagle Park, and also... Um, well, I won't tell the, the other one he gave me, uh, that's a little bit of a surprise, but, um, yeah, so super excited about just Wisconsin. I didn't know that they was killing it in the beer game, but I think everywhere these days, everybody's killing it. Right. And so untitled art I had, I, I had, they're like creeping their way to the barrier for like distribution. I think they had like a Neapolitan stout that they did with bottle logic. Um, and that made its way out here. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of people that I know, um, have, have had this beer or have had other beers that they've done collaborations with. So I'm super excited about this. Would have never had a chance to try it. Big shout out to my homie Travis from Wisconsin, from the W for shooting this to me. Um, let's get a pour. Just always excited about trying just beer from cities that, you know, me as a California person, as snobby as I am, think that nobody brews beer outside of California or New York or certain or you know um, Boston. Um, you know, everybody gets busy, right? So um, let's get a smell, man. Oh, first, let's get a look at this in my heretic glassware. Untitled art. It's a dope name too. I, I love the brewery name. Let's get a smell. <laughs> well, you get a lot of maple. A lot of maple, a lot of chocolate, dark, dark, dark chocolate. Um, just, you know, it's really sweet. It smells like a, a really sweet beer. The maple is really hitting you. I, I don't get too much vanilla, but maple and chocolate, like those are the two winners in this as far as the smell goes. Um, maple beers can either be hit or miss. I, I Some of my favorite beers are maple beers, and then sometimes it's like real maple, and then sometimes it's like this artificial maple. Um, but I don't think that's what this is, so let's get a taste. Cheers. Damn. That's good. Damn. Okay. All right. Wanaki. Wanaki, Wisconsin. Um, wow. You would swear to have some coffee in it, too. And the reason why I say that is a nice little roast that you get that it reminds me of double stack a little bit. But um, I don't smell coffee. And so I don't think coffee is in here at all. But it's a, you know, big roasted chocolate malt type flavor that you get from the chocolate. Um, the malt, I'm pretty sure that the malt they use um, is, you know, is probably some form of chocolate malt. Um, really good. The maple is the winner here. Um, even as I'm talking to you, it's just like pancakes. Like it's just a lot of syrup, a lot of, a lot of syrup. Really sweet, almost French toast type of uh, taste. And I do not like French toast, even though I'll be eating my wife's French toast. Uh, not, yeah, anyways. <laughs> but I'll be eating uh, some French toast that my wife cooked for me um, <laughs> or cooked for her party, um, should I say. But anyways, uh, um, yeah, man, just the maple is, is really, really good in this beer. I do not taste vanilla at all. Maybe, maybe a little bit, a little bit of vanilla, but I think it's, it's subtle. Um, when you have a lot of different adjuncts in the beer, there are some going to, there are going to be some adjuncts that, um, that are going to be the winner and there are going to be some that take the backseat. And then I don't know how much of vanilla they use, but the maple seems like it was going to be the go-to for this beer. Um, it is just pancakes in the glass. And then the chocolate is just, it's the second layer of it where it's just this deep, 
um, dark, just roasted dark chocolate um, that just is, is, is very close to mouth. I wish the beer, when you hear Angry Chair, Angry Chair is known for very decadent, decadent beers, right? Like diabetes type of stouts, which I love, you know, and a lot of people do pastry. The real Angry Chair is one of those pastry, pastry stouts. And by the way that um the beers that i have from untitled art it seems like they are going that route too neapolitan maple vanilla and a lot of different styles that they have another beer that i have from them is also like a you know adjunct heavy beer so i would want this beer just to be a little bit thicker as far as just the, the you know how it coats the mouth and having that that oily type of taste but but it's not thin it's just not as thick when you see angry chair you're, you're thinking you're gonna get like you know fudge right You see chocolate on an angry chair berry, you, you think fudge. This is not fudge brownie, but at the same time, it's like candy bar, right? Like, there's different levels to chocolate and and, and sweetness and um and beers, too. Like, some stuff is like, you know, chocolate bar, right? And some stuff is like fudge brownie, right? And I think it's not fudge brownie, but it is chocolate bar. It's still delivering on the chocolate element. The maple syrup, even like I said, as I'm talking to you, is perfect in this beer. Vanilla plays the background. Um, just um, well-made beer from Untitled Art out of Wanaki, Wisconsin. Uh, shout out to the homie Travis again. Um, who would have thought, right? And um Keep doing your thing, <laughs> Untitled Art. And until next time, you guys you guys know what I say. This is like the second review of the night. But you guys know what I say. Peace and love, 100.